Welcome back. Biden's cure for high housing costs, a temporary $400 per month tax credit for first time home buyers. Howard Hughes CEO David O'Reilly joins us now. David, good to have you with us. OK, so everybody today has been talking about this 400 bucks, whether you like Biden or don't like Biden. You think to yourself, man, I'd love to have four hundred dollars a month to put toward my mortgage. But I think there's more to it than meets the eye in terms of how that would actually affect the housing market and prices. What do you see? Absolutely. Right now, we've seen one of the strongest markets for new construction that I've seen in my career. We've never had the combination that we have today, which is strong demand. The average new home buyer is 35 years old and 12,000 people in this country turn 35 every day. Restricted supply as existing homeowners aren't moving out of their low rate, fixed rate mortgage and massive equity within their home and an affordability advantage for new constructions where large public home builders are able to buy down mortgage rates, making things more affordable than what would appear on paper given today's interest rate market. Hmm. Can we talk about that interest rate market? Are 7 percent peak mortgage rates behind us? We hope so, but it hasn't deterred home buying. Hmm. Our home sales in our communities, and we're the largest seller of land to public home builders in the country, are up 45 percent year over year. And we're selling land to our home builders at a 17 percent premium. Huh. Wow. We think this year, as rates start to come down, and my belief is that rates will start to come down, we'll see increased demand with more affordability, but not rates coming down far enough to increase supply because it's not going to get back down to those 3% levels that so many Americans are locked in on their mortgage rate today. David, I want to go further with that supply side issue that you're talking about, and that's really about home building. You know, I, uh, there's an interesting statement that caught my eye. I wonder if you saw this, too. It's from the Associate, so Associated Builders and Contractors. They represent construction professionals across the country, and they're calling out President Biden and his policies, saying that they are exclusionary, they're inflationary, and it's preventing construction mm -hmm. professionals from building and rebuilding. I'm wondering how, you know, what your take on that is. Do you agree? Do you see that kind of coming into to an intersection with home building? I, look, from what I heard last night and from what I've read today, it does align with what we're hearing across our multifamily apartment portfolio because we don't just develop you know, land for home builders. We own small communities where we own office buildings, multifamily apartments, et cetera. We have 6,000 units. We survey those, those renters every year. And among those renters that would aspire to own a home, Two thirds of them say that they rent because they don't have the down payment and 35 to 40 percent mm -hmm. of them say that they rent because they can't afford their mortgage payment. Wow. So I think on paper, giving some first time home buyers a down payment assistance and giving a new home buyer, a first generation home buyer mortgage assistance makes sense based on the feedback we're hearing. David O'Reilly, great insight today. Thanks for being with us. Absolute pleasure. Thank you. I mean, I just, on this point, it's yeah. interesting because, um, you know, he says the supply is the issue, right? Mm -hmm. And Biden's talking about juicing demand, demand with the $400. Yeah. Whatever you hate about this housing market, you're going to hate it more when if more. we had a policy like that. I know. I it, it just doesn't solve the fundamental problem. I think that's what David was saying, basically. Supply and demand has to be yep. in balance, and we're not there yet. Yep.